Hey guys, um, there's really a lot of gross things going on out there. I used to always talk about how I hate natural flavorings because a lot of them are coming from a gooey brown substance that's close, located originally close to a beaver's anus and they create a whole bunch of flavorings out of this. I originally heard about it from the food babe, but just wait, it gets worse guys. Big food and big food is really not a great place to invest your money in your health. Uh, in my personal opinion, you do you, of course. And uh, to some extent, I've bought some of these products in the past, and I'm just gonna try and avoid them in the future. Um, I'm happy that some of the things that I use are not a part of this list here, but the bottom line is PepsiCo and Nestle. Those are who I would refer to as big food. Um, I posted on my Instagram today about how they use aborted fetal cells from kidneys to enhance foods. And I found a Mercola um, article about it. And there's a company called Cyanomix, Cyanomix, Mix, Mix, something like that. But anyways, flavor enhancers, things that make you think you're tasting sweet, sour, um, savory, all those different flavorings are now being developed using aborted fetal cells. Uh, let's just go to the list I made. Um, man, this is messed up, guys. Okay, so Pepsi's, let's start out with Pepsi's. This is from a notebook I was taking notes on, and mentalfloss.com is where this article came from. Annie's, they make tons of crackers, they make, I've had their little um, pizza rolls desserts, they make um, mac and cheese. Uh, we used to be a big fan of Annie's, and now I'm not going to be a big fan, because I think there is the, the word natural flavors on a lot of these boxes that we were buying. Honest tea. Uh, I wouldn't buy that also because of the citric acid thing I learned from one of my viewers who was really awesome in sharing this information about how citric acid could be derived from mold sources. A lot of the times I have people come and tell me that they have tons of problems with anything that says citric acid in it. And for a long time, I thought it was because it was connected to corn. Um, and some of it may still be connected to GMO corn, but with this new information about how they are just easily harvesting citric acid from sources of mold, it's just so questionable and unbelievably disgusting that the only tea I've found recently that doesn't use citric acid is actually a company called Tea Java. And they use citric acid in so many things because it's a preservative, longer shelf life, you know, and it's just horrible, right? So... I mean, in bottling companies, you don't have to put things in there because the shelf life of a bottled individual thing could still be a year or two, right? But yeah, not good enough for the PepsiCo standards. Applegate Farms, they make a lot of different foods, sausages, uh, deli slices, things like that. I've stayed away from deli slices XYZ for a long time just because they always have different preservatives in it as well that I already knew were not good for you. They also typically rely on MSG, which is a neurotoxin, which was established by the World Health Organization, among many other sources. I'm sure you could go to Google Scholar and find more info about that. Naked Juice. Okay, I used to really like that company too because I thought, oh, hey, it's juice. I'm doing something healthy for me. But if you look at the sugar count, they're outrageous too. Just pass, guys. I'm, you know, if you want to juice something, juice greens at home because those are going to be the better juices for you. If you want to juice fruits, juice citrus fruits and sour fruits because those are going to improve digestion. Those are the things that I'm really down for. Kashi. I always had this joke about Kashi. I said, do you know what Kashi means in Japanese? Hard to chew. Because that was my experience. Everything from Kashi, was, it took a toll on my jaw. It was so freaking hard to chew. And honestly, I haven't had anything Kashi in such a long time. And it's not just because I've been keto for two years. <laughs> Food should taste good. Wow, what a deception that is, right? I thought those were a good company. My wife really loved tons of different chips they had. Sweet potato chips for one, sweet tortilla chips, sweet potato tortilla chips, uh, avocado tortilla chips. Um, 
this these they used to taste really good but i believe they have natural flavors on a bunch of those labels as well so caveat and poor buyer beware earthbound farms now typically tons of this is you know salad mixes but they make other stuff too salad dressings and yeah buyer beware read the ingredient label bare naked so i've never really had too many bare naked products from my understanding they make a lot of crackers probably cereals other things like that another one to watch out for stony field farm so this is a yogurt that i have consumed and i think there's some organic stony field in the fridge right now but i only ever buy plain and sometimes i make my own greek style yogurt which all you have to do is strain out the whey by putting it into some cheesecloth for a day or whatever or even three hours is enough and then you got your own greek yogurt high fat lower protein and just read the labels i don't think there's any natural flavors in that but there's multiple other flavors that stony field has um, by the way, they have a double cream yogurt. Oh my gosh, I love that stuff, guys. Bolt House Farms. These guys used to be one of the leaders in the whole juicing, uh, beverages, stuff like that. And there's, they have a lot of canola oil in their different um, dressings. And I avoid that too. Canola oil is basically... Uh, pesticide. You could pr spray it on crops and things will die. So why would you want that in your body? Also, it comes from a plant called rapeseed. Why would you eat anything from something called rapeseed? Doesn't sound good to me. Um, there's so many things in these things. Canola oil as a vegetable oil, it just goes bad so quickly, um, causes oxidative stress, causes inflammation throughout your body. Avoid canola oil. I can't remember the last time I bought Bull House Farms. I used to love this stuff. Green and Blacks. Okay, I had that in my Sprouts um, shopping video that I did a while ago, and that's a chocolate company. And I did notice there's tons of uh, soy lecithin, I believe, in Green and Blacks chocolates. And just another one to look out for. And I'm sure they probably have that natural flavors on some of the labels with some of the other ones that say other food things. Um, the alternative to soy lecithin is you look for sunflower lecithin. It's that easy, guys. Less sugar, less flavorings, less problems. I mean, I really like 100% dark chocolate and some peanut butter. That's what I'm down for. Of course, no sugar added peanut butter, no other additives. Salt, peanuts, maybe oil. That's it. Coleman's Foods. Now, this is the largest creator or maker of organic chickens provider. And they actually, I think, have been in trouble here and there because of some of their food practices. This is not one that I'm familiar with. I don't think it's near me. But are there added things in that? There could be. It just depends if you buy something that's prepped, right? Now, the Nestle list. This is also just from Wikipedia. Yeah. So Boost, you thought Boost was a great way to do some fasting and still get your vitamins? Well, there's a ton of natural flavorings, I'm sure, in a bunch of these lines. So read the labels, right, guys? Carnation Instant Breakfast. I couldn't exactly say they're health-based, you know what I mean? And maybe a bunch of these aren't going to be. And I don't even know tons of these different companies except for that one garden of life so garden of life was started by this guy who had an amazing health journey and transformation um but uh recently they got bought out previously i thought they were a b corporation which meant they would never sell out but you know things change you take you don't renew your b corporation label and you can do stuff like sell out to nestle so read these labels, man, and as much as I don't want to avoid Garden of Life, because I've reviewed a ton of their products. From time to time, I've found some awesome products from Garden of Life. But if it says natural flavors, guys. Yeah, I really don't know a ton of these different. Nutren, Optifast, Optifiber, Peptamen, Resorb, oh my gosh. All right, well, that's the quick list for Nestle. I'm sure there's way more out there. Um, and some of these other major brands out there are owned by Coca-Cola. So is Coca-Cola down with these types of natural flavorings? 
you can probably guess they might just be. I just didn't do any research into the Coca-Cola. I just thought I'd cover PepsiCo and Nestle real quick. And that's the bottom line, guys. If, if you eat food that doesn't have an ingredient label, you don't have to read ingredient labels, right? 